Often design team works on products or design using different CAD software, which usually happens to be of a large and data size. With deep exploration, design team can share a widespread knowledge file for review validation from manager, suppliers, vendors, and clients. We have a free viewing tool that's called Deep View, which can be freely downloaded. And that's how it looks like. This allows people to view files, create an edit markup for further use. Now me as a technical manager, all I have to do is just drag and drop the file into Deep View. Most of the time I may not work on these applications but for reviewing the content and passing on the suggestions. Hence this drag and drop simple easy way to use for me. Here is typically the scene tree the way we saw it in uh, deep exploration. It allows us to navigate through the assembly by enabling and disabling them. The first step for us would be to go ahead and see if the markups that we created are really available there. The last one that I created was on the bottom of this, that I created few dimensions. These are the different views. They are the earlier markups. There we go and we have all the markups that are available for us to really go ahead and append on them. Few other functionalities here would be create quick measurements distances, angles, extrapolate them, and so on. Starting back on the basic view, it has the same functionalities like the pull apart tool. As a technical manager, it's easy for me to really review it, put it there, and then again start it back onto the home position. I get a better visibility and understanding about the design. I would be able to section them, view them still into much intricate details in different axes. I would also be able to flip them in different directions. Now once I get a better clarity what this design is speaking all about, I can also visually compare it with another motorbike design that was earlier created that would give me a real comparison between both of these. Few of the other normal functionalities would be to view it in different modes like the transparent, shaded wireframe and so on, line illustration and many others. One of the useful tools me as a technical manager is the X-ray tool, as in when I select onto a particular part, it gives me the interiors of this part, how these two components have been assembled together and so on. Let's toggle on back to the different view modes. When we are collaborating with different people, we could also leverage on the full screen capability. And let us see how we can go ahead and append the markup that was already created and the given my comments. I just need to double click on that and I go ahead and give my suggestion. Increase the wall thickness to 8 mm. In the model view, for the convenience, I can again toggle back onto the normal position and just save this file back in orange format. Let me give it a convenient name. These markups are not only for technical managers, but when these are also sent to vendors, suppliers, and clients, they really need not have deep exploration or any of these native CAD tools. They will be able to freely download this tool from the website and review these designs and pass the comments. Let's open this file that we edited in GPU. And see if the comments that we updated are available there.
Here is our markup. There we go. And we have the new comment that we added that says increase the wall thickness by 8 mm. This way, we can seamlessly communicate between the reviewers, clients, suppliers, and the design engineers. Now, apart from this, GPU can very well be used for collaboration. As in, I can create a conversation here. So I create a conversation on this component, saying that we would go through an online review. Let us discuss this with the plastic team. I can directly give the meeting link for us to have the meeting over there. There you go and the link is activated. When I save this file and send it back to the design engineer, he gets the direct link and all the stakeholders would be able to collaborate online. Here it takes the login ID from my system. It talks about when this was created and we can categorize all these conversations all along. Now not only that a technical user, it believes that for one technical person there are at least 10 non-technical people having the need to access the design for various needs. Even non-technical people in my company use GPU. As in, this is a third base order in an Excel file, race, and these GPU create interactive thumbnails on them, adding in a lot of value to Microsoft application. Similarly, on to a word here that we see there top of the screen, that we are able to interact with it, pull it apart, and all the normal functionalities of GPU. I apologize for going off track. It is just the excitement that right hemisphere gives all these functionalities for free without a need of license. So this was an overview of markup and design review via deep exploration and GPU for design communication and collaboration.